I could trading post and activate. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Nelson, Nelson, you can't, you can't get trading post blindness now. You've made it up to the roof and down the chimney and in to the Elder Dragon Social Club. Brought to you as ever by Card Kingdom. Please check out cardkingdom.com slash edsc. Get yourself some presents for you or the people in your life. Why not? By presents, I mean magic cards. Please order magic cards from cardkingdom.com slash edsc. Thank you. Also, this show and everything we do is brought to you by you and your kind support of our Patreon at patreon.com slash loadingreadyrun. Today, it's the holiday episode, and what we have done is decided to celebrate 2023, during which Wizards of the Coast released 25 pre-constructed commander decks. Merry Chrysler, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> it's capitalism time yeah. in the city. Oh, favorite time of year. Mm -hmm. And so what we've done is each of us has secretly, we legitimately do not know what these decks are, we have picked a deck from 2023 that we think another player at this table will enjoy playing, and we're going to give those to one another and open them up and then play a game with them. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Ben, what have you brought? This. Who's that for? This guy. Oh. This guy. <laughs> this guy. Ready? Uh, yeah, I I picked this one uh, because I I know it was a big deal for you. Oh. Big deal for me. Yeah, or just like just something that you really enjoy. So here you go. Magic cards. <laughs> How did I know? Oh my! It is um, Magic the Gather. You go. <laughs> Magic the Gathering, Universes Beyond, Lord of the Rings, Tales of Middle Earth, Commander Deck, Food and Fellowship, I got Hobbit. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Ben. You, you get to proceed to Gaffer Step again. Oh, you know how much I love to eat. <laughs> <laughs> it's got the pig, it's got Gaffer. This deck was legitimately the, we filmed that episode. Yeah. I couldn't stop thinking about the Gaffer, and then I ordered the entire deck. Yeah. Yeah, yeah thank you. you. Thank yeah. you so much. I look forward to killing you all with it. <laughs> <laughs> I have a gift for Nelson. Wow. Yeah, I think you'll like it because it's big and stupid. I uh, hopefully it has lots of ways to kill Rosie Cotton. <laughs> oh well. Uh... Oh yay! If I was gonna pick one for myself, I was hoping I would get to play the Eldrazi deck. Hey. Both of the Gate Watch was my favorite set. I loved when they added a hidden sixth color to Magic. Wait, 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 wait. You said Oath of the Gatewatch is your favorite set? You didn't know that about me? I love drafting Oath of the Gatewatch. I had no idea of that about you. you. Oath of the Gatewatch is one of your faves? I really liked drafting Oath of the Gatewatch, yeah. and I just thought the introduction of Magic's sixth color was oh. really clever. You yeah. just went up on my list of bravest people I know. <laughs> You're now near the top. As a treat for myself, I also won't be reading the comments for this episode. Hey, hey. Christmas. Nice. Graham, Hello. I got you this. Thank you. I'm very excited. I have some thoughts about what it could be. Okay. But uh, let's find out together. I'll admit, my first instinct when I went back and looked at the years of, of the year of EDSC, I was hoping to get you the Nissa uh, Resurgent Animus deck <laughs> before realizing, oh wait, those weren't precons. Yeah. <laughs> those, those came out. Oh, I think it was, but from like. Six years ago? Seven no, years no, ago? No, no, these two built the decks for that episode. Oh. Out of March of the Machine oh. Commanders. Right, yes. right, right, right. I forgot were, about that. They were precons for you. Yes, LRR <laughs> precons. Right. Yeah. Okay, well, let's see. Oh, yes. It's a Doctor Who deck. Yeah, yeah Doctor Who was a big moment for you, and I thought it was. now when you go Ooh. home after the episode, you and Kathleen can rap about what playing this deck was like. I'm going to be playing the villains today. Ooh, Ooh that's exciting. You get to exciting. make a villainous choice. Yes. Or no, no, we get to make you a get to make choice. The, my favorite oh. new line of rules text that is mechanically relevant, because there are cards that care about whether you make a villainous choice. Yeah, or oh, chaos ensues. Excellent. I'm very, very excited. Thank you, Nelson. Happy Christmas. And Ben. Yeah. For you. It's not a lot of space here. It's magic cards. Oh, okay, okay. I'm really, I'm, I'm pumped. Let's see what, how, how well Graham knows me. Oh. <laughs> oh my 
It's a secret lair. It's the secret lair. There, sorry, 26 commander decks in 2023. It's the angel secret lair. Yep. Wow. Yo, this is incredible. Yeah, I thought. I this this is your kind of this is your kind of nonsense. Yeah, well, be, for the main reason. All right, I mean, I know they can't be. Wait, are they? No, they can't. They're they're not technically partner commanders. So, please, more melds, hmm. wizards, more melds, meld and emerge are two of my favorite mechanics. And God, these are so cool. Thank you. I'm very excited about this. You're very welcome. Now let's get sleeved up and play some magic. Hello again. We have now sleeved up our decks. Let's go over the commanders very quickly before we begin, just to refresh everybody. You've seen most of these before, but not all of them. Wheeler, who are you messing around with? Thanks for asking, Graham. It's great to be here. I put the ho and ho 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 bit. I'm playing. Uh, <laughs> I'm playing. Good. For, yeah. Good job. <laughs> no, you got shut me. it down. He'll, he'll never learn. Very, okay. <laughs> he'll never learn. Okay. <laughs> Oh. I am playing Frodo, adventurous hobbit, paired with Sam, loyal attendant. Uh, Frodo is white and a black for a 1-3 halfling scout with vigilance, partners with Sam. Whenever Frodo attacks, if I gain three or more life this turn, the ring tempts you. Then if Frodo is your ring bearer and the ring has tempted you two or more times this game, I draw a card. Sam is a three mana 2-4. Uh, halfling peasant that says at the beginning of combat on your turn you make a food token and activated abilities of food I control cost one less to activate. Ben? Uh, I am playing Bruna because why in the world would you ever want to cast your commander in the first half of the game? <laughs> uh, she is a seven drop for a five seven baby uh, and uh, when you cast a spell you may return target angel or human card from your graveyard to the battlefield. She also has flying and vigilance. And I mean, pseudo commander, we're not we're not rule zeroing it, but like I'm looking for Bruna, who is the fading light. No, wait, that's who I'm playing. Hold on. I'm looking for Gisela, <laughs> who is a four drop four three with flying first strike lifelink. Uh, and then at the beginning of my end step, if I've got both of them, I flip them both over and I make Brizella, Voice of Nightmares, who uh, is a 9-10 flying first strike vigilance lifelink, uh, and your opponents can't cast spells with mana value three or less. <laughs> so most of your deck, I think. Good. <laughs> Great. Nelson, what do you got? I thought I was playing the Eldrazi deck. I have Zudalok, Void Gorger. My commander's more mana than the Eldrazi. <laughs> <laughs> well, and you turn into an Eldrazi on the back too, That's right? That's true, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Secret Alliance. Zuladoc is a five generic and one specifically colorless mana, six mana, seven, four legendary Eldrazi that says colorless spells I cast from my hand with mana value seven or greater have cascade, cascade. Mm -hmm. So hopefully we'll cast a bunch of free spells. Zuladoc appears to be part of, I want to say, Kozilek's Brood, but it's my first time playing these cards. So apologies to Eldrazi enthusiasts if I get any lore things wrong. Mm. Mm. Grant. I thought he was oh. a new. He looks like a little Ulamog. Maybe it's a, maybe it's a new Ulamog. They look like a little Ulamog. A Ulamog? Maybe a little. Maybe a Ulamog. Co That's, a looks, a looks like an Ulamog. Ulamogger. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's an Ulamog. Oh. oh. Thanks, Santa's elf. So that's my commander, Graham. Who did you bring? Well, this time we decided to go with Davros, Dalek Creator. Last time we played this deck on the show, uh, Kathleen was piloting with Missy uh, as the commander, and it turns out that Davros maybe is meant to be the face commander of the box. It's a little unclear, but also Missy cares more about planes, and we're not using planes, so instead we're going to make Daleks. Davros casts for one and a complete Grixis, and is a 3-4 with Menace. And at the beginning of your end step, create a 3-3 black Dalek artifact creature token with Menace if an opponent lost three or more life this turn. Then, each opponent who lost three or more life this turn faces a villainous choice. You draw a card, or that player discards a card. So, life totals are gonna change in threes, apparently, at least on this side of the table. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we're gonna make it change in like, 20s? Yeah, yeah. We'll <laughs> assemble some large number of life yeah. total changing numbers. Battlecruiser yeah. side of the table. And because I've been a very good boy this year, 
I rolled the highest on our dice roll, so I'm going to go first. So I will draw a card, and I will play a tapped Lava Claw Reaches, and pass the turn to Wheeler. Draw. I'm going to play a tapped Gray Pelt Refuge and gain a life. Go ahead. I've been a very bad boy this year. Uh, so I am... Oh, what is this, actually? Hold on. I've literally never seen this land. Cool, yeah. Uh, I played this land I just drew. Seraph Sanctuary. Oh. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, I gain one life, and whenever an angel enters the battlefield under my control, I gain one life. Tell me you never drafted AVR without saying you never drafted AVR. <laughs> Am I right, AVR enjoyer? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, boomer. You're not Your gonna turn. follow that up with an angel's scroll? <laughs> 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 wow. Sick AVR limited reference. Pretty good burn. I'll let it go by that you called it Angel Scroll instead of Scroll of Abyssin, oh no. but <laughs> I'll play a Ruins of Orin Reef and pass. All right, untap and draw. I'm going to play the Gallifrey Council Chamber. When it enters the battlefield, I surveil one. It adds a colorless or one mana of any color, but I can only spend that mana to cast a Time Lord or an alien or activate the ability of a Time Lord or an alien. Magic the Gathering. Magic the Gathering. Hey. Right. Surveil. I will leave that upon the top because it seems neat. Go ahead. On tap. Draw. I'm going to play a Swamp and I'm going to cast everybody's favorite two mana Hobbit. Pippin, Warden of Isengard. Mm -hmm. uh, Pippin partners with Mary. Uh, it's a 2 2. Taps makes a food. And then I can tap sack four foods to give other creatures I control plus three plus three and haste until end of turn. But ignore that. Sweet. I'm going to go find Mary. Christmas. Oh, you actually get to. It's the kind of partner, partner with, that yeah. gets you to go looking for them. The classic partner. It's the other kind of broken partner. Oh. Yes. Technically, neat. it's target player and it is the holiday season, Wheeler. One That's of us true. Could, we maybe one of us has Mary in there. I will happily fail to find. Yeah, you can't hear me over the unwrapping of this present. Yeah. Chestnuts roasting. Where is this hobbit? Maybe Jack. it's under your nose. Mm -hmm. I wanted to make the joke of anything goes when it comes to ho ho hoes, but Pippin ain't easy. But I'm not going to do that. Oh, okay, good. I'm, I admire your. I'm going to get it out of my system. That. I have found a Mary, Warden of Isengard. Hmm. And Eisen going to pass to you. Eisen going to take my turn? Bokeh? <laughs> sure. Cards in hand? <laughs> Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh. Excellent. Next. All right, I'll play a Plains. Uh, and then I'm going to play this Arcane Sagnid, because i got to get up to the high counts of mana. Excellent. It taps for white. It's basically a, a pearl. Very nice, very nice. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect fixed mocks. Yeah. One tap and draw. Play this reliquary tower. Now I have no maximum hand size. And cast Ornithopter of Paradise. Unfortunately, it adds a mana of any color. Mm. But uh, it does fly. Go ahead. Does that mean that you can't use that for specifically colorless costs? Yeah, this can pay the generic cost, but can't pay That's the, very the diamond. Hmm. Yeah. Mm. I will draw the card that I surveilled to the top, and I'm going to play an exotic orchard, and then I'm going to play that card, which is the Clockwork Droid. It's a 3-1 robot, and you can exert it as it attacks, and when you do, it can't be blocked this turn, and sc you scry one. Neat. Yeah. Okay. They were sent back in time to kill a French lady. Oh. Your turn. <laughs> so was I, but I don't talk about it every turn. Draw. Sci-fi fans, am I right? I'm going to play a forest, and I'm going to cast Pippin's favorite companion, Sam Loyal Attendant. I mean, they were in the Fellowship. To be honest... The movies would have been much better if it was those two. <laughs> <laughs> Blistering takes. Yeah. I am filled with rage. Right. <laughs> and because of that, I'm going to go to combat. Yeah. yeah. I get to create a food token from Sam. Uh, and yeah, I'll attack Ben for two after That's that comment. deserved. Go ahead. Okay. I will play a planes. Uh, I'm going to tap for four, and I will play this Cosmos Elixir. Uh, at the beginning of my end step, I draw a card if my life total is greater than my starting total. Otherwise, I gain two life. I'm going to gain two life and pass. Untapping. I will cast Fire Shrieker. Jesus. Clips for two and gives the creature double strike. <laughs> Back to you, Graham. All right. This Hornethopter of Paradise is going to hit me for zero twice. Be careful. <laughs> it's that first strike that gets you on the zero power. I'm going to draw. I'm going to pause to read this 2023 Commander card. 
Fire Shrieker in the Eldrazi deck is very funny. Yeah. Because it's just like, you know, hitting them for like eight is not enough. Got to hit them for eight twice. I just like the thing of like Ulamog holding onto like this little tiny stick <laughs> that makes it now feel like it can hit twice. I'm going to play a Swamp and I'm going to tap all my mana here for black, red, blue, and one to play Davros, Dalek creator. And then I'm going to go to combat and I will hit... Nelson for three. Three damage, please. One, two, three. At the beginning of my end step, I create a 3-3 three, three Dalek artifact creature token with menace if an opponent lost three or more life this turn. Then each opponent that lost three or more life, Nelson, faces a villainous choice. Either I draw a card or you discard a card. I'll discard a card. All right. I'm going to discard Kozilek, the Great Distortion. Uh. <laughs> Dang. All right, cool. <laughs> Is there Kylus Reanimator? <laughs> Uh, maybe? Cool. Go ahead. I'm going to tap three, and I'm going to play a Mary Warden of Isengard. Oh. Mm. Are you going to go search for your Pippin? Uh, yeah, sure, why not? Let's uh, waste the editor's time some more. <laughs> I enjoy wasting Matt's time. He wastes enough of my time on Sundays. He bugs me in the office. Matt, I hope you're hearing <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm we're, kidding. We're finding about uh, we're airing out all the dirty laundry. That's on right. Christmas. Yeah. It's really, I'm it's being camp. This, this is this is a family gathering. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm also going to play a Sun Petal Grove as my land for the turn. I would like to go to combat. Yeah. And I'd like to make a food token off of Sam, which triggers Mary, and I get a soldier token with lifelink. And because this is a family gathering, I'm going to tackle Ben mm -hmm. for two. I go back down to that. Uh, go ahead. Look at those two roughhousing. We're just having a good old time. Uh, I will play a Plains. Uh, boy, this is an Angel's deck. Uh, I did finally draw a creature, so let's go with that. I'm going to tap for three. I'm going to play an Angel of Vitality. Uh, it is a 2-2 two -two flyer with flying that says, uh, flyer with flying. Ding! Uh, if you would gain life, you gain that much life plus one instead. Angel of Vitality gets plus two, plus two, as long as you have 25 or more life. I have oh. that. So it is a 4-4 four, four flyer, but Seraph Sanctuary is going to gain me a life uh, plus one life. So I'm going to go back up to 41. Wow. Then I'm going to go to my end step. Cosmos Elixir uh, would like to gain me life, but I'm higher than my starting life total at 41, so I'm going to draw a card. And that's turn. Seems pretty cool to me. Yeah. At least it doesn't say if you would draw a card, draw two cards. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine if that existed. I need to look at everyone's lands for a second for no reason. Oh. Okay. You got a Vesuva or a Strip Mine? Yeah, it's a Vesuva, unfortunately. Uh, I'll say go. All it's right. Not really a Vesuva. Go oh, ahead. as in, like, uh, you don't have lands to play. Yes. Okay. That's me not having lands. I did keep a hand with three mana. Back to you, Graham. All right. Untap. I'm going to go to combat. I would like to declare attackers at everyone. I'm going to attack Wheeler with the Clockwork Droid, which I will exert so it can't be blocked, and I scry one. I'll attack Nelson with Davros and Ben with the Dalek that has Menace. Davros also has Menace. Mm. Can't block. Won't block. Scry one. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Man, that's some sort of magical number in your deck. Yay. I did do the scry. I'll leave that on top. And after combat, I will play the Vashta Narada. Gesundheit. Thank you. It's a 1-1 one, one indestructible alien horror with shadow. And Morbid, at the beginning of each end step, if a creature died this turn, put a plus one, plus one counter on Vashta Narada. What? How is this thing okay? Oh, it's not. We can interact with it. Uh-huh. It's every end step. Yeah. And it's a three drop? Uh-huh. You gotta give it a plowshare. You gotta send it to space. All right. At the beginning of my end step, I make another Dalek, because an opponent lost three life this turn, and then any opponent that lost three life, which is all of them, face a villainous choice. I discard a play instead. Just discarding a card. I'll let you draw a card this yeah, time. Yeah, you can draw a card. All right, go ahead, Wheeler. End of your turn. Yeah. I am going to activate Pippin to make a food, to make a soldier, to end the tyranny of Graham Stark. <laughs> Fair enough. Untap. Draw. Oh, I think I have to discard. <laughs> 
two seconds. Let me just quickly think it over. I'm gonna discard, don't blink. You just have three, three menaces, huh? Yeah. He just gets one of those every turn. Also a three, four menace and an indestructible shadow creature. Oh, Davros is an artifact. Oh yeah. Interesting, good to know. I'm gonna go to the beginning of combat and I'm going to make an additional food token and Mary is going to make an additional soldier which I'm just going to showcase all of my soldiers with a larger die. That's a lot of soldiers. Thank you. They may all die themselves. I don't think I'm attacking anyone because I need to block Graham mm -hmm. and I don't want to pick on Nelson and I don't actually have a good attack into Ben. So instead, I'm going to play a Sandstep Citadel tapped on my post-combat main phase and I'm going to cast Farseek and I'm gonna find a plains, island, swamp, or mountain and put it into play tapped. But which? And then I'll shuffle my library afterward. No, not a witch, a plains, an island, a swamp, or a mountain. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. It's not a curses deck. Oh. I Have just... they made a pre-con curses deck? No, they no. haven't. Uh, really? They made a commander that is for it, but like you had to search they for it. They didn't make a, but, yeah. yeah. Bitterheart Witch doesn't have their own uh, commander deck yet. Hey? No. Is there a bitter, there's gotta be a bitter heart witch secret lair with like curses and stuff like that, right? I don't remember. That seems one. like it would be in the production line if it's not already. Well, oh. if you haven't gotten that already, Watsy, once again, on Christmas, I'm getting you another secret lair. Free IP idea. Merry ho ho. That's right. A gift to you. Mm -hmm. I'd get the accursed, next Halloween which curses, yeah. secret curses, lair. Secret Absolutely. Lair. Yeah. If it happens, by the way, next year, remember us. Yeah. I got a swamp. Great. Go. Okay. I will untap. That was one of the ones you were allowed to get. I really should have been able to get one of each. <laughs> that would, for do mana? Yeah. It's commander. All right. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just kind of keep trying to ramp. I'm going to play a marble diamond. Comes into play tapped. Uh, it's a rock. Uh, and then I'm gonna go ahead and it could be a board wipe later, but I kind of want the things that I have. Uh, I'm gonna cast Dismantling Wave. So for each opponent, destroy up to one target artifact or enchantment that player controls. Mm. So I'm gonna go ahead and blow up the f uh, the Shrieker. I'm not gonna blow up your mana. That, <laughs> that, feels, that feels worse. If you blew up the sad. mana, Nelson would become the Shrieker. <laughs> <laughs> I'll it's blow up the Double Strike stick. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna blow up your commander, yep. Graham, uh, and I guess Oh, not my sweets, yeah. not my treats. I'm gonna blow up the food that you don't choose to crack with the two mana you have floating. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Well, I'm going to play by the rules of the game. <laughs> and crack the food, yeah. Crack yeah, yeah. the food, and I'm only paying one because I have Sam. You've got it. Uh, so I gain three. Uh, and then, yeah, I mean, you've got a bunch of menace friends, but I'm gonna hold up a blocker in some way. I'm going to go to my end step. Cosmos Selector sees that I'm under 40, so it'd be two life plus one from Angel. So back to 41, the magic number. <laughs> Still your end step. Yep. I would like to cast Warping Whale uh, to make a 1-1 one -one colorless Eldrazi Scion. And then after that resolves, I'd like to put a plus one plus one counter on it. And yeah, I think your alien triggers because your creature died. Yeah, have a Each end step? Yeah. yeah. Oh, ho, ho. That's what I was saying. I should read my own cards. Yeah, the uh, the Doctor Who decks weren't okay. Yep. Yeah. Untapping. I mean, at the end of the day, it's not Graham's fault. It's Nelson's. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I did this. Yeah. Merry Christmas, Graham. I've got a thought vessel, mm -hmm. so just in case I lose my... Reliquary Tower, I can still keep not drawing lands, but not have to discard. And now I have a 2-2. Two -two. <gasps> Go. All right, untap, but not my Clockwork Droid, who is exerted, and draw. I'm gonna play a Thriving Moor. It enters tapped, and I'm gonna name blue, so it taps for black or blue. What's this card called again? Vashta Narada. What a wonderful phrase. <laughs> Ain't no passive craze. It means no blocking for the rest of your days. It's a problem. Mm -hmm. See? <laughs> I'm gonna just play some rocks this turn. I need some S to P. Swords to Yeah. I'm gonna play Mindstone. 
And then I will also play a Wayfarer's Bauble. Bubble. And then... You don't want this smoke? I, do, I can't. You don't want this heat? Remember, if someone stalls on developing their board... Hit them. Kill them. <laughs> kill yeah. them. No, I know, I know. All right, I'm going to send a Dalek at Ben to try and keep the life total under control, and a Vashta Narada at Nelson. I take damage. You got two? Two, I think. Yeah, yeah just two? Boink. Just two. And I don't have villainous choices because Davros hecked off to the command zone, so it's Wheeler's turn. End of your turn. I'm going to make a food with Pippin, and I'm going to get a soldier from Mary. God, I love my hobbits. Thinking of killing Graham. Fair. <laughs> Unfortunately, mm -hmm. I'm one off killing you. What? Yeah. Wait. Really? Yeah. Hold up. You're one off killing me right now. I I really wanted to kill you for the holidays, but I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I just want to see it happen. I mean, I, I can finish it. I got a flyer. Me too. <laughs> I, 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 well, actually, no. I think I can kill you now that I'm thinking about it. Uh, I was gonna say. Oh, you but I, you have a blocker. You know, it's it's four zero. My life total is not o oh, four. Oh, there's one less zero than I thought. Oh, I could definitely kill you then. <laughs> No, I'm I'm a little short. Well, how short are you? Yeah. Average height for sure. Uh, that Dalek is getting in the way. So three? Because I've got four flyer, and I'll just attack him in the air. The problem is, if I kill you, then I just like have used all of my resources, right. and then I'm very easy to uh, kill. Not that this is the most threatening board I've ever seen, but you know. Weirder things have happened on this show. Yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna just take a a more reserved approach and play a non-threatening card. Just you wait. We'll do something eventually. I'm gonna cast Sanguine Bond. <laughs> okay. Uh, whenever I gain life, target opponent loses that much life. You you can understand how this would lead to your death, right? Uh huh. Yeah. I'd like to go to my beginning of combat, and I'd like to make another food as per Sam, and then uh, Mary is going to make a life linker. So I go up to five. And then I am going to... I block. Yeah, I know, that's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to, I guess, pick on Nelson. Great. I'll attack you with Sam, loyal attendant. Uh, two, four. I'll lose two life. All right. Take two commander damage from my Sam. Oh. Two commander damage. Thank you. Not to brag. Relevant. Yes. Uh, then I'm going to play a Necro Blossom Snarl into play tapped. And I will pass the turn. All right. Well, that's horrifying, and I'm going to draw. Hmm. This deck is so bad. <laughs> <laughs> How could it be bad? You're a mono white deck with a seven mana commander. Yeah. Uh, well, I don't have anything really scary to do. I have a card that's been in my hand since the start, which is definitely not where you want one of these cards to be. Uh, I'm going to treat the angels for two. <laughs> 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 oh. uh, I'm going to make two four four angels. Mm -hmm. Two angels are entering, so each one's going to give me one life or two life. And then I, I'm not attacking. <laughs> There's a lot going on, so I'm going to draw a card off Cosmo Selector. Pass. That's funny because that exact play is the kind of play I'd make in uh, old Legacy Miracles when I'm like, oh, I'm dead. Yeah. But I gotta do something. I have to do something yeah. with my mana. Yeah. Yep. Untap. It's good. I wanted to draw a nine drop instead of a land. Mirage Mirror. Ooh. Yeah. For two mana, I can have it become the co a copy of target artifact, creature, or enchantment, or land until end of turn. So if someone could kindly like play a land that taps for more than two mana, <laughs> I would really appreciate that. Yeah. Oh, that's Seraph Sanctum's looking pretty juicy. I <laughs> think I'll attack no one. Go ahead, Graham. All right, at the end of your turn, I'm going to use these to crack my Wayfarer's bubble and go get a basic. Okay. Sorry to hear that. That was the main thing on the board I was hoping to copy. Ricky Bobble. Really? Well, if, yeah. if I untapped I and the bobble was still on the table, yeah, it's currently the best target. Yeah. yeah. Damn, that's sad. Yeah, kept, you got a Mind Stone. Kept a hand with an Accelerant on two and two lands. Yeah. I'm going to get an island. Don't mourn for me. And He's then already whatever, dead. Whatever <laughs> else Gideon says after that. Yeah. <laughs> Don't mourn for me and uh, whatever Gideon says. Yeah. All right. I'm going to untap. Conversely, do I just be really annoying? What? 
Do what you want, babe. <laughs> huh? I didn't realize you hadn't started yet. <laughs> <laughs> I heard bees, so if you want to start playing some insects Fair. instead of all these robots that keep killing us, mm -hmm. that'd be fine. Graham shocking everybody at the table, announcing that now he's going to be annoyed. He's going to start screwing <laughs> with us all. I'm going to move to combat. I will attack Wheeler with Clockwork Droid, which I will exert. I will send... The Vashta Narada at... The Vashta Narada at Ben and... I'll attack Nelson with these Daleks. <laughs> uh, there's something so nice about kicking someone when they're down during the holidays. I'm, I'm just playing to the deck. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Any blocks from you two? I can't. Me, <laughs> me neither. I also can't. Is that what this says? It cool. says it can't be blocked if I exert Oh, right, right, right. And, and scry. scry one. Also, I should scry. Wow. That's a nice dress. Yeah. I will put that on the bottom. Finding the positive in the situation. Oh, yeah. Silver linings Nelly over here. I took six. Thank you. Second main. Blasphemous act. Word. Okay. I might respond. Oh, yeah, so you're going to respond? Responses. Uh, uh, I'll make a food. And then make a soldier to immediately die. Okay, in response to Blasphemous Act, I'll make mana with Ornithopter and Eldrazi Scion, then use Mirage Mirror to copy Vashta Narada. Ooh. So I have an indestructible creature now. Okay. And, and then at the end of turn, I'll get a plus one plus one counter. That's true. What I like about that is it's like you have no idea necessarily if that plus one plus one counter is going to be relevant, but that's that's such a tight little value play. I like that. Foreshadowing. Yeah, it's it's so easy to play perfectly when you have almost no options. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, my Herbit's going back to the command zone. Oh, the command zone. Oh, the command zone full of hermits. Go back to the command zone. Then I will tap six to replay Davros and move to my end step. I get a Dalek and Wheeler and Nelson face a villainous choice, but Ben only took two. You can draw a card. Thanks. I will discard Phyrexian Triniform. It has Encore 12. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get there, buddy. Encore 12. Mm-hmm. All right. I already put the plus one plus one on my Vashta Narada, but you need to as well. Yes. Should have killed Graham. Untap. Drop. Oof. You do have a lot of direct damage in the way of food plus Sanguine Bond. That's true. Kind of funny. Yeah. It's got lightning bolts on a stick. I think I'll play some Hobbits. Oh, oh. We're going to break the meta a little bit here. Yeah, go, you know, do something a little, a little new. I'm going to cast uh, Frogurt, Adventurous Hobbit. <laughs> that really got me. <laughs> Partner with Sam, so I'm going to put Sam into my hand. Uh, is that allowed? I think so, right? I mean, the partner command's written right there. From your library. I think I cheated confidently enough that I should be able to get I it was will I thought you were goofing at first. I'm like, I'm pretty sure that's not how that works. So did I, yeah. until I was like, wait a minute, this is, yeah, this works, wait. right? <laughs> like, I was like, I have the mana to cast both, and that's what I'm going to do for my turn. And then I'm like, oh, I'll just put it into my hand. And I'm like, wait, that works. Can we we each get one turn of schoolyard rules yeah. where we just get to say, this happens? Mm -hmm. I'm still really stuck on what if the entire Lord of the Rings movie trilogy, but Frodo's name was Froger. Froger. <laughs> Froger. <laughs> Master Froger. I'll be... Froger Baggins. Master Froger, I'll be the toppings on ye. Nope. Nope. Mm. Mm. I'm gonna no, play that it. happened in the movie. <laughs> let's, yeah. let's, let's workshop that one. The sequel to Your Highness is going to come with a Froger character. Mm. And I'm going to play Slim Loyal Attendant. And uh, go to beginning of combat, make a food token, and uh, pass the turn. Why do they call him Slim? You don't want to find out. I'm going to play Amiria Sky Ruin. Oh god, I wish that were me. <laughs> I guess I'm going to do this. I'm going to play Bruna. Yay! Uh, Yay! 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 There are five seven flying vigilance. Uh, when they when I cast this spell, I may return target angel or human card from my graveyard to the battlefield. 
this angel's back on the escalator again. So technically how this is gonna end up going is the angel of vitality is gonna hit the battlefield first because this is a cast trigger. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna gain two for the angel entering and then Bruno entering, so I get another two. Cool, excellent. Yeah. Ben's uh, popping off, get him. <laughs> <laughs> how many times can I play the same angel? Uh, and then that's it. That's all I got. I'm drawing a card and saying go. Untap. Everflowing Chalice for one. He's going. The cup. May he's, I? He's got mana. Damn. Cup runneth over. Am I right? Yeah. Well, <laughs> it runneth. It runneth. Yeah. Cup have some in it. Mm -hmm. Doesn't have the same ring though. Yeah. yeah. One, three, two, four. Get over away there. from me. What are you doing? Yeah, Look I got at this a, guy. I got a one, three, I got a two, four. I think my best play is to copy Davros so I have a chance to draw a card this turn. Mm. And so I need to attack someone with Menace, and unfortunately, it's not Davros. I so I want to trade my Mirage Mirror for a Dalek token. I think, I think he'll just let you go through. Graham has a double block, and it's only a three, four. Yeah, but, but, if, but it has a plus one, plus one counter on it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Graham, my Davros <laughs> attacks you. Instantly relevant. Wow. wow. I forgot about the plus one, plus one counter Instantly already. Instantly relevant. <laughs> Told you. I don't remember Chekhov's gun being like, by the way, I've got this up here. Yeah. <laughs> hey, guess what? I'm not going to block wow, that. Wow, look at her proceed. Take four. <laughs> I take four. At end of turn. If anybody would like to rent my prophecy services. <laughs> <laughs> you make a Dalek. I make a Dalek. And who faces a villainous choice? Graham, face a villainous choice. Who could have predicted that Davros would have the tables turned upon him? Please draw a card. I'm drawing a card. Great. Back to you, friend. All right. Was it a land? It was not a land. Oh. But it was a spell that I could cast <laughs> next Man, turn. Unlike all the rest of the cards in my of hand. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm going to untap my mess of lands here and draw a card. None of those are mesas. That joke sucked. Cut that. Cut that out. <laughs> cut it out. Please. Please, I'm begging you. I Please, I'm begging you. Cut it out. All right, here, try with this one. I'm going to play a Temple of Epiphany. Cut that out. We, okay, we, all right. Yeah. I scry one. I'm going to put that on the bottom. Ow. We can cut that out, too, if you Fine. want. I'm going to pay two to play Lightning Greaves. Oh. Very good. The Greaves, classic Greaves. Move to equip the Greaves onto Medavros. I love that step. Medavros? <laughs> Medavros. I'm, everybody... just, I'm just reading your yeah. cards. Just ignore them. They're hobbits. That's their whole shtick, is that you can't perceive them. Wheeler, for as long as you have Sanguine Bond, you are <laughs> absolutely yeah. the threat. Well, I'm okay with the people, card that's not a hobbit. People yeah. can look at my Sanguine Bond. Yeah. Just leave my damn <laughs> hobbits alone. Sorry, you have effectively 21 damage. Yeah, <laughs> at instant speed while gaining 21 life. It's not that big of a deal. <laughs> it's just the world's biggest lightning helix. In before some commenters like, that's not the biggest lightning helix. Yeah. All right, I'm going to play this thing. It's... The Beast, comma, Deathless Prince. I think it's kind of a Satan. Oh, it's a little bit of a Satan. Little bit of a Satan. So mm, it's a Krampus <laughs> on this, on this, our, hallo <laughs> our, 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 our hallowed holiday. Yeah. So it enters tapped with six stun counters on it, oh. which is fun. Uh, when you cast the spell, gain control of target creature until end of turn, untap it, it gains menace and haste until end of turn. And whenever a creature deals combat damage to its owner, untap the beast and draw a card. I'm just going to go ahead and hand you Bruno. Oh, thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> you haven't said whomst, but I assumest. Uh, it, it was either Bruna or Sam, because then Sam gives me a food. Oh, okay. But I, I think that is correct. So six stunos on that thing i get it back though right yeah you get it back it doesn't go away i don't okay. have a sack outlet you're it's like it's all i got man no that would be <laughs> that would be in keeping with the deck but i do not have a sack outlet so i'm gonna go to combat and we're gonna throw a bunch of cards around so bruna is indeed gonna attack ben uh she's got vigilance oh bruna is gonna attack ben oh you can block <laughs> yeah nope it's got it's got menace, menace also oh you can't block yeah mm. uh the vashta narada will attack Wheeler, and and Davros will attack Nelly. No Wee. one can block. Can I have commander damage on myself? Does that count? Yeah. <laughs> Any you, one commander. Yeah. 
If so Bruna I, deals 21 damage to Ben, Ben will die. I would have to steal Bruna several more times. That would be sick, though. That would be really funny. I want that to happen. <laughs> a creature dealt damage to its controller, so I untap the beast, which is to say, take a stun counter off and draw a card. And then we move to the end step. So I make another Dalek. Ben gets Bruna back. And everyone, villainous choice time. You can draw a card. Thank you. Uh, I guess draw. Draw it up. Thank you. I'm going to discard this choked estuary. Go ahead, Wheeler. Untap. Yeah. Draw. I gotta say, I think it is entertaining just to cut off the, before we get, you know, blocked by YouTube or something for our excellent rendition of the theme song to Lord of the Rings. Um, oh, I was doing Doctor Who. Oh, yeah. Well, then you were real bad at it. Well, he, now we're not going to get hit. Thanks, Graham. I just started watching the show recently. God. <laughs> these, fan, these fandoms, I Gatekeeper tell Gatekeeper Graham, they've yeah. always called him. Yep. Yep. Routinely. Uh, I'm fairly impressed that, like, we, I mean, mostly me, the Wheeler's been doing something. I've been wailing on Ben, and you're still at 39. <laughs> Mono <Mine> away. Hey. <laughs> I guess that's the, the the plan, is just hold on until the big things. Guess that's the plan. Kill Ben. <laughs> Please. If I get to go to McDonald's after this, <laughs> I can just step out. I'm good. I'm going to pay one and sacrifice one of my foods to gain three life mm -hmm. and deal three to Graham due to my sanguine bond. Nice. I would like to go to combat. And I get another food from Sam. Up to seven food again. I don't know why I thought spinning the die in the same direction over and over again would find the new number, but here we are. And then I would like to attack Graham with uh, Frogurt. And because I gained three or more life this turn, the ring tempts me. Oh. Um, does anybody have a ring I could borrow? Damn. Just... Oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> I mean, I knew this day was coming, but you know. Okay. You get to meet, you are even married, you're married, you're married. You get to get married the second time. Yeah. This is just rubbing it in. Am I the most married or am I the, are you the most married? I think so. How, how long? Know, actually. 10 years in next year? 10 years in 2024? Oh, interesting. I'm also 10 years in 2024. Oh, hey. Which month do you get married? July. This is happening. Apparently. Damn it, I'm August. When did you get married? 2015. Oh, okay. God. The next following year. My husband's gonna kill me. <laughs> my friends were doing that. I was like, oh yeah, I should probably get on that, right? When will I find my Prince Charming? Uh, you're taking one. Because I can't block. Because you can't block. The... Great, I take one. And that's one commander damage. That's one Frogurt commander damage. Mm, nice. You got Frog. See, the calories, they're still there. They're just kind of hidden. Away. Yeah, all right, fair enough. It's not actually there. Yeah, they're empty Frogurt. right now. Yeah. Mm. Speaking of empty inside, I'm going to tap three and play Labelia Defender of Bag End. Um, three mana, two, two, halfling citizen. When Labelia enters the battlefield, I look at the top card of each opponent's library and exile those cards face down. Then she can tap and sack an artifact and to choose one. Until end of turn, I can play a card, exile it without paying his mana cost. I didn't read that far. <laughs> uh, or it can drain uh, this is a everybody. Three for drop, two. eh? Yeah. Cool. Or what? I could drain everybody for two. Oh. The bag end is defended. You guys got to put better cards in your deck. It's a powerful umbrella, I guess. I'm sorry. This is this is what Graham gifted me, man. I was like, I know that Ben loves, you know, loves uh, Bruna and Gisela, you know, meld. That's super cool. You know, it's a secret layer deck. This will be great. I didn't realize there was so many, like, draftable cards in it. <laughs> <laughs> My deck is supposed to be played as a cube, I think. Mm. <laughs> Then I'm going to play Path of Ancestry, and I'm going to pass. Okay, uh, I'm going to untap. I mean, I'm not going to look a uh, gift Bruna in the mouth. She's like 5'7 Vigilance, which is pretty sick. I'm going to play this Planes, then I'm going to tap for two. My Planes count is at five, by the way, for a Myriad count. Exciting. I have this Mind Stone, uh, and then I'm going to tap for two, and I'm going to play Griffin Airy. Ooh! At the beginning of my end step, if I've gained three or more life this turn, I create a 2-2 two, two white griffin. Nice. Yeah. And then I'll tap for five, uh, and I will play this Vanquisher's Banner. I'm going to choose 
Angel. Oh, <laughs> not Griffin. Not Griffin. Oh man, you're right. I could choose Griffin. So creatures I control get plus one plus one. Whenever I cast a creature spell of the chosen type, I draw a card. I will go to attack step for the first time. Wheeler. Oh, I'll take five. You got it. And then I will go to my end step, and I will. So I believe if this, if I'm correct here, because this is an at the beginning of my end step trigger, this isn't even going to pay attention to it. The intervening if is going to yeah, keep it from going on. It's stack, a real shame. So I'm yeah. mentioning that so that we know that we're not missing any triggers. But I am going to gain three life off of the Cosmos Elector, Elixir because I'm under there. It is wild as the premier mono white player of the format, yeah. which you know I, I've played in Ameri a couple thousand times in mm -hmm. this in this format. Uh, this card is. I, I don't even play that card in my white decks. Mm -hmm. It's uh, thanks for sharing. Yeah, I'm <laughs> just saying, it's interesting. Some of the cards that you have. Yeah, Ben. Yeah, in your deck. Yeah, uh, I will pass. Yeah, if you've been slagged enough, I'll just yeah. untap my stuff here and take my. Oh, turn. I could, I could bully you too. Great. Yeah, it's my turn. <laughs> I want to save my friend here. Three land looking ass. <laughs> That's me. Hi. Do you have three lands? I don't actually. He's I have only two got lands. two. <laughs> Two, He's actually. Got a thought vessel I put the thought there. vessel Damn. down here. He put, that, he put the thought vessel down there to feel like he had three lands. Yeah, I move this talus down here, too. I have four oh, mana. You want to put that Dalek down there, too? No, okay. no. I'm not out here trying to tilt my opponents by putting my lands in front. Um, that's someone else's job. Let's cast this Lightning Greaves. Nice. And I don't know. What are we copying with Mirage Mirror? Is it just Davros again? I will equip the Dalek token with my Lightning Greaves and pass the turn. All right, I will untap and draw a card. Hey, I'm gonna move to combat and things are gonna attack people. So I'll attack Ben oh. with the Vashta Narada. <laughs> I'll attack Wheeler with both of these Daleks. I won't block. And... You can make that a big thing and kill Davros, so I won't attack Nelson. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't have enough Daleks, I have decided. Uh-huh. Okay. So I'm going to play Genesis of the Daleks. It's a saga. Create a 3-3 black Dalek artifact creature token with menace for each lore counter on Genesis of the Daleks. Oh. So it just keeps getting more and more. So right? you get one, and then two, and then three. And then chapter four is target opponent faces a villainous choice. Either destroy all Daleks, and each opponent loses life equal to the total power of Daleks that died. Or destroy everything that isn't a Dalek. Cool. But that's in four turns, and knowing Commander, uh, we might be on lunch break by then. <laughs> True. I'm also going to play a Creeping Tar Pit and then move to my end step. I'm going to represent it this way, that I have two tapped Daleks and one untapped Dalek. Okie doke. And then Ben and Wheeler face a villainous choice. Uh, draw a card. Okay. No. <laughs> Is that an option? Oh, can we do that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. I, I feel like this whole time we could have. So I draw a card or... Yes. All right, cool. I'm not discarding the last card in my hand, I guess. Uh, also end of your turn. Yeah. I'm going to sack three food tokens. Mm-hmm. Uh, gain nine life. Gain nine life. And make you lose nine life. Ooh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Great. I'm also going to discard this Temple of Malice. Untap. Yeah. Draw. I am going to pay one and sack a food token to drain Ben. Okay. Like to go to combat. Mm -hmm. uh, Froyo gets to uh, tempt again. Right. And so now when Froyo attacks, I get to loot. Okay. He gets to tempt again. And Sam makes you another more food, right? Sam does get me another food as well. Uh, technically that happens before this, but the comments don't care, right? I'll attack you for one. Okay. And I get to loot. All right. I really want to keep all of these cards. I'm going to discard Forest. I take one commander damage from Frogert the Adventurous Himbo. That's, that's two commander damage. He's, he's, he's climbing that hill. He's running up that hill. <laughs> They're running up Mount Doom. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tap Lobelia, yep. and I'm going to sack a food and cast one of these exiled cards face down for free. 
I'm going to cast the one from Ben's deck, mm. surprisingly. Uh, it's Urza's Incubator. <laughs> uh, as it comes into play, I pick a creature type, and creatures of the chosen type cost two less to cast. Boy, these are all the greatest hits, eh? What, uh, what you name it? Halfling, mm. which is, you know, Hobbit. So it costs two less. So two, three, four, five. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, okay, <laughs> I know what's coming. I'm going to cast Banquet Guests. Yep. It's X green and a white for affinity for food. <laughs> Trample enters the battlefield with twice X 1-1 one, one counters on it. And I can pay two sack of food to make it indestructible until end of turn. So it's going to come into play with 12 plus one plus one counters on it. <laughs> and I get to scry because I tapped my Path of Ancestry. I'm going to bottom that card. Well, now we can really get the party started. Mm. A 12-12 trample that you can make indestructible. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Lord of the Rings. Well, he has to sacrifice a food, and how much food can you really make? Yeah. I might run out of food. <laughs> well, then the hobbits will be very upset. You better believe it. I'm then going to pass the turn. Okay. I will untap. I will play this planes. Planes count is now at six. Mm. Um, I'm going to tap four six. Uh, and I will play this Valkyrie Harbinger. Uh, triggers abound. Uh, so first off, Valkyrie Har Harbinger is a four or five with flying lifelink at the beginning of each end step. If I gain four or more life this turn, I make a four four angel with flying vigilance. I cast a creature card, so I'm going to draw a card off of Vanquisher's Banner. Uh, and then uh, an angel entered the battlefield, so I'm gonna gain two life. I am going to crack this Mind Stone draw. Uh, interesting. I will play this Speaker of the Heavens. He's a human cleric, so no life gain today. Uh, who is a 1-1. One, one. I can tap him for 4 to make a, you guessed it, 4-4 four, four angel with flying and vigilance. Wow. Uh, it, I can only activate the ability, though, if I have gained 7, or if I have at least 7 more life than my starting life total. So, starting on my next turn, I can start just pooping out angels, which seems pretty cool. Nice. It's my favorite Christmas carol. Yeah. Mm. Pooping out <laughs> start angels. Start pooping Got out it. angels. Uh, combat. Yeah. I will swing for six at Wheeler. Okay. I go to 33. Mm-hmm. I will go to my end step. I've only gained two life, so this is not going to trigger my Gryffinary. Um, but, and I'm below that, so I'll gain three life. And hey, look, I'm back at 41. <laughs> I'm back on the escalator again. That's me. Go Gr for it. Griffinary and Valkyrie Harbinger both not working with Cosmos Elixir is a little sad. Yep. Admittedly. I am in uh, top deck central mode. Very good. You have one card in hand. Oh, yes. Sorry. It's a planes. Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah. Write that down. <laughs> planes. I love how your deck has a bunch of cards that don't work with my Mirage Mirror. <laughs> Like, oh nope. yeah, can't, <laughs> sorry. can't copy that. I should have thought about that. I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, I wish I, you know. I wish you had considered others a yeah. bit more, Ben. Not not very holiday season. Not very merry Christmas of me. Yeah, I'll untap. My gift was for Ben. That's right. Hey, it wastes. And with my five mana, he's got mana. He finally drew a land, but Let's it doesn't add, doesn't add color. It's true. Oh yeah, yeah. The draw color at some point. I'll copy your four or five flying lifelink angel. <sighs> Can you? Run it into my four or five flying lifelink angel? No, because it has a plus one plus one counter. Oh, no! <laughs> no. Otherwise, I would. <laughs> I'm goozled. Yeah. And then I'll put the lightning greaves on it and attack Wheeler. It doesn't have vigilance, does it? No. Nope. Okay, I'm attacking you for five. And you gain five? I gain five. Nice. Thank you. Okay. You and know, that plus one plus one counter is actually paying off. It's yeah. instantly paying off, yeah. I did make one cool play. Yeah. And then at end of turn, I'll make a 4-4 flying angel with vigilance because I gained four more life. You got it. And then in cleanup, my lightning greaves is going to fall off my mirage mirror. All right. Your move, Green. In your end step, I'm going to sacrifice Mind Stone to draw a card. Sorry, Handles. Untap. Is Handles the name of that head? Yes. Mmm. Sorry reading cards with lots of words. Uh, what? Okay, cool. So it enters play tapped unless you have an island or a swamp. <laughs> oh. Yeah. After my draw step, I increment Genesis of the Daleks, and now there are two lore counters, so I get two Daleks. So I've got two Daleks that are summoning sick and three that can attack. All right. 
Gross. Daleks. Yeah. Before I move to combat, I'm going to play the Cyberman Patrol. Ooh. Classic looking, silly Cyberman. Oh, I, yeah. I love the old. He looks like he's made out of plastic. <laughs> I think he probably was. Uh, it's a 2 2 Cyberman that says artifact creatures I control have afflict three. You know, everybody's favorite keyword. <laughs> Everyone loves afflict. Then I'm going to play Missy. Oh. Who was here last time. Four or five. Is that the rest of her title? <laughs> yeah. Missy, <laughs> comma, <laughs> was who was time. here last time. Yeah. Whenever another non artifact creature dies, return to the battlefield face down, tapped under my control as a 2 2 Cyberman. And the, at the beginning of my end step, each opponent faces a villainous choice. Either each artifact creature I control deals one damage to that opponent, or I draw a card and chaos ensues. But we're not playing with planes, so it's just more card draw for me. So now I'm going to move to combat. I block. And attack Ben with Vash and God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> and then I will... 12... 12... I'm going to die next turn, actually, is I think what's going to happen, but... Yeah, we can only hope. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be nice. Yeah. In my defense, if I do end up killing you, it's only because you have a legion of evil robots. Mm-hmm. You well, know Daleks what? are... Yeah. You know what? That's fair. Yeah. And I understand it. Yeah, it's nothing personal, kid. Yeah. We were here, too. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you are also very scared. I put a plus I'm one getting plus there one now. Yeah. On it took, it took a little bit, but the, the, the angel train is, is coming now, I guess. Also, I'm going to send two Daleks at Wheeler and one at Nelson. Uh, I And there's still three threes with Menace? There's just three threes with Menace. And, like... and Afflict three. Right. Yeah. Remember Afflict? Tried to forget. Yeah. I'll double block. Okay. One of the Daleks. With whomst? Sam. Oh. And the guests. All right. All right. So you lose three in blockers, and then you take another three, and then... I'll double block the Dalek headed my way as well, so I'll still lose three, but and I can we'll... trade a Dalek for a Dalek. Yep. and Ben loses three. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. I have a Hakuna Matata coming at me. Yeah. So then I move to my end step. And... Before your end step. Oh, sorry. I'll cl copy Vashta Narada with my Mirage Mirror. Oh, again. Very nice. Oh. Okay, cool. That's sick. Thanks. I like it. Yeah. Maybe it'll matter. Surely it's not going to be relevant, though. Yeah. So in my end step, Vashta Narada gets a counter. So does Nelson's. Man, the fact that Vashta Narada is, doesn't also say non-token Yeah. is so wild to me. And then Davros is going to make me another Dalek. And then we'll do Davros's villainous choice first. So that was everybody lost three life or more. So Ben's discarding that planes. <laughs> you can draw a card. Yeah, you can get a card. All right. And then Missy's villainous choice. So for each of you, either you get domed for six or I draw another card. Six it is. You can have another card. You can have another card. All right. He's not going to have time to use them. <laughs> I don't think I will. Give me a moment for cleanup, though. <laughs> well, I, I do have an effect before cleanup. Okay. Take nine. Gee. I'm going to sack all my food. Wow. Uh, so all I, the food? And it's all coming to you. Okay. So I go to 31. You're at 13. Bummer. Once again, you do have a robot army. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I get that it. That is killing everyone. Oh, whoops. I forgot to play uh, Darkwater Catacombs. Oh, so right. I'll just do that. Yeah, there you go. And then I'll discard these three cards. Rassilon, the War President, Renegade Silent, and Midnight Crusader Shuttle. The War President? Yeah. Okay. War Doctor wasn't scary enough. Isn't that every uh, president? I yeah, know. generally. Untap. It's like he exists. Draw. I'll play an Exotic Orchard. Hey. Uh -huh. You've got white and wastes. Oh. Great. Not killing Graham, so I have access to black. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got red. That's true. Dude's got red. Dude's got red. Red up all in. I always said Graham's got red. Yeah, read him like a book. I block. I'm not attacking you. No, okay. I'm going to, well, actually, I might attack you. I can't block anything uh, on the ground. Uh, go to the beginning of combat. I got a food token. You got it. Uh, also at beginning of combat. I'm going to pay one and sack the food token to gain three life. And cause Graham to lose three life. Yeah. Uh, then I am going to attack Ben with the banquet guests and uh, Graham with Frogert, who has... Uh, vigilance. Vig vigilance. Yeah, I'm just doing this to okay. show that I'm attacking. But 
the ring tempts me again because I gain three life. Um, so now if you block it, you have to sacrifice things blocking it. Right. Um, but I still get to loot. And it still has skull because I don't know if he can block, right? Yes. I'm going to discard... Harmonize. Hmm. Yeah. Take 12. Take one. Sure. I'll take 12. Oh, you're taking the 12. Why not? All right. I will take the one. I don't think I have a choice. You go to nine. Oh, no. I'm in range of three foods. I'm going to tap this exotic orchard for mm -hmm. white mana. Let's go. Wow. Help me. Contributing, contributing. All right. I'm going to play rosy cotton. Oh, oh no. I'm going to make a food token. This delightful publican is going to kill me. And whenever I create a token, I can put a 1-1 one, one counter on a creature I control other than Rosie. All right. Uh, I'm going to put extra toppings on my Froger. Does mm -hmm. that work now? That that works now, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, great. It comes included with the Froger. Whoa. Yeah. You order a Froger, you get those toppings. Not just toppings, but they do mix-ins now, too. What are mix-ins? It's to toppings, but they like... Put it all that's together. Just, that's, that's just, just a McFlurry. That, but they like hand do it. Like they, they've got like a spatula made out of metal. They like play with the, the Froger. Oh. Right? Huh. Yeah. yeah. I didn't think you were allowed to play with your Froger in public. Okay, but do you remember, do you not remember the like Canada wide moment that was Yogan Fruz? Mm. Oh yeah, but I thought you just put the toppings on top. He's just a baby. Oh, okay. I remember yogurt fruits. I'm happened. 31. I'm an adult man. I am 31 years old and I remember yogurt fruits. He doesn't remember this. This 31 year old man doesn't remember something from like what, three years, years ago? ago? It's No, sorry, it's Nelson. Been, you got me mixed up with your years. children again. Yeah. It's been longer than we care to admit how how long it's been since yogurt fruits was open. At least I want to say a decade. At I least. think so. Yeah. yeah. But like, isn't that just, a, you're just making a yogurt McFlurry? That okay. sounds pretty good, actually. Yeah. yeah, it was delicious. Ben, I am going to ask you to uh, restrain Nelson. Just make sure that he doesn't pop out of his seat. Because I'm going to tap four mana. I can't! Well, you got to hold on for a little bit longer. It's trading post. Ah! <laughs> oh, why? He's why he's... him and not me! <laughs> There's a trading post in that deck? Hold! Man, you don't get anything. Uh, goat. Oh, okay. That's me. No, no, he's making a goat. No, I'm, 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 I'm parody, proceeding, proceeding parody. to goat step. <laughs> Oof. War room. Uh, I'm gonna tap for three. Can't argue with that. Pay life equal to the colors of my commander. One. Uh, to draw a card. Cool. Okay. Um, combat time. My Valkyrie and my uh, Bruna are going at Wheeler. I take 11. 11. Oh. Or no, you take ten. Doesn't this get both oh, angels? I testing take, you. I take eleven. Yeah, you take eleven. Oh, you're testing me, all right. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna gain six life uh, because of my angel of vitality making it one extra, which is great. I go to my end step now, uh, and finally, after ten thousand years, the kakas can be heard from the the, the banisters of uh, Griffin. Oh, I get a griffin. I also get uh, one of these lovely angels uh, that uh, you were making off of my thing. And then finally, Cosmos Elixir is gonna let me gain three life. Three, two, one, let's jam. Untap. The thing is though, I have this Mirage Mirror. I can just pay three for a trading post activation. Still a bargain. Mm. I thought you said you were gonna kill Graham. Right? That was the plan. I'm a man of my word. All right. I believe you. Start sweating profusely. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's a high chance I don't even untap. I don't know what's going on. Uh, I guess he's only at nine. I guess I could have just killed Graham myself. I didn't want to say anything. <laughs> <laughs> Palladium mirror. Yay. Equipped with lightning greaves. Yay. Wow, it's almost making mana. Almost. It's not quite. Maybe next turn. Hey, do you want an angel? Yeah, I want an angel Let's again. Let's go, brother. I'll activate Mirage Mirror targeting Valkyrie Harbinger once again. Yep. I'll attack Graham for 11. Oh. <laughs> I played magic cards too. What did, I, what did I say? Good job, Nelson. He was part of this game. I don't know why you said that to him. He wouldn't have killed you if he didn't. <laughs> well, I have no flying blockers or any way to gain life, but I do have 
the third bag of Jelly Babies that I bought as a prop for the last time that oh. we did Doctor Who stuff. Yeah! Bribery! So Those now I get so to just, good. I know, now I get to, get to just sit here and enjoy some Jelly Babies. Cheers! I am dead. Damn. Okay. Let's go Nelson. Hey, thanks. Hey, I couldn't have done Nelson. it without everyone else also attacking Graham a bunch. Here's this pools that was under my hobbit. Oh, they're so fetid. Very good. <laughs> What did you do to them? Damn, babe, your pools are looking fetid. So dank. At the end of the turn, I will make another 4-4 four, four angel. Uh, with Vigilance, I could use a dice or whatever. You go, bud. Thank you very much. And then it's Wheeler's turn. Six life from the... It is a little trade. frayed. Thank it's, you. No, it's a little... It's a little... It got really hot in our office Ooh. over a desert bus, and so a few of them are a little melty, but that's fine. Oh, notches candy. Yeah. Anyway. <clears throat> End of turn, I am going to pay one tap trading post, and I'm going to sacrifice the Urza's Incubator to draw a card. Ooh, okay. So Steady. Right now. Steady. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know Nelson had such strong feelings about trading posts. This post. guy will lose it. If you put anything... Anything log shaped in front of him or a trading post, and he <laughs> just want the nothing. <laughs> he wants to dirt all around. Untap, draw. Mm. Did it, baby. Mm. Thank you. You're welcome. Did it, baby. Mm. Yeah. Some of them are a little stuck together. Still can't get over like the talcum powder. I shot them. I was starting to like body, it. The, I think the, it's the wrestler, favorite. the wrestler hand grip. <laughs> chalk. 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 Jelly babies, the premier snack of climbers everywhere. No. Yeah. I'm gonna tap two, and I'm gonna sacrifice my food token to make my banquet guests indestructible, for no reason at all. Okay. Then I'm gonna tap five, and I'm gonna cast Fell the Mighty. Mm -hmm. uh, destroy all creatures with power greater than Sam. So three or greater. Uh, they're dead. Cool. Goodbye, everybody. Uh, and this survives because it's indestructible. My griffin and my little man are here to save the day. Good night, sweet angels. I'm going to go to combat, mm -hmm. make a food token. Rosie's going to trigger. I'm going to put an additional counter on Sam. Um, it's a three, five. And then I'm also, at beginning of combat, going to sacrifice this food token to gain three life and drain Ben for three. Wait. I'm going to attack Ben with Banquet Guests, Frogurt, and Sam. All right. Uh, and because Frodo attacks and I've gained three life, the ring is going to tempt me further. So I'm at max ring now. My ring is His maxed out. His ring is out. maxed out. <clears throat> Maximum ring. Uh, and I have to loot here. Wait, because I'm out of the game. Do I get my ring back? Yep. Nelson. Ceremonial passing of the wedding rings oh to the third married guy. You know, at the I table. never. I got Again? married. <laughs> I was always, always, <laughs> always the commander player, never the. Com Wheeler. Oh my god. Could you use this to represent a game item? You know, after my first husband died because you killed him, I thought this would never happen again. But yes. Oh, I can't wait to kill you. It's a corner case, but it's important to remember that when a player leaves the game, all the knickknacks that they leave on the table also have to leave the game. Yeah. But not the paddy wax. No. Those get to stay until the That's... dog receives its bone. Yes. Uh, I'm going to discard the feasting hobbit because I don't want to look at those feet. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. <laughs> and uh, yeah, Ben, you're... Uh... How much damage is that? We got 12. Uh, we got 15 total here, and then we have two um, plus the three mm -hmm. from... Oh, just he just nugs you for three, eh? Yeah. Cool. Because he's at max ring. And I gain three. I'm going to path those guys. The big one or the Froger? The big one. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> now, now, I'm going to leave the 12-12 with Trample and Indestructible. <laughs> I'm I mean... sick and tired of this 3-5. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to path the exile, your banquet guests, uh, and then I'll... To just take the others, I guess. Sure. Uh, my guests are. Go path. find yourself a plane so you can stop using mine. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> so, how much damage? Um, it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, and then you're going to take another three, and I'll gain three, and then you'll take another three. So, 11 total. All right. Combat damage. I did find Ring the damage, sanguine bond damage. Yeah. 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 <clears throat> 
Okay. I am so upset at you. <laughs> oh, but you get to recast your angel. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna make it that far though. Uh, I am just gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> To play my commander for the second time. <laughs> Bruna! What's Bruna! Up? All right, so I'm going to draw a card off of Vanquisher's Banner. Then I get to bring Valkyrie Harbinger back from the bin. And then I get to gain two life. I no longer have the extra life happening from the Angel of Vitality. So it's just going to be one, two off of my Sarah Sanctuary. And then I will play with this. Sorry? It's got Vigilance and Lifelink, and I have no blockers. That's true. Yeah, yeah. Hit, That's hit, true. Hit me with that speaker. That would be the magic number for another Griffin. All right, Nelson, I'm going to attack you. You're right with this Vigilancy Lifelinky friend. I take the one damage. You I've got one Griffin life. mana now. Hooray! Yeah, yeah, all right. And then I will... Wait, why am I so stoked that Ben gets a 2-2 flyer? Uh, because we're buddies against the Grand Menace. I remember now. Remember, we're the underdogs. Absolutely. We're playing. We're playing in universe magic cards, which, as we know, are bad against the <laughs> universes oh, beyond oh. cards <laughs> that are all good. Once he played the training post, like the all bets are off. <laughs> yeah. I don't true. even know what's up or down anymore. Can't yeah. wait for these comments. I play a plants, and then I'm gonna go to my end step. I go to Griffin's step. <laughs> Tread lightly, young man. <laughs> Uh, and then I will gain another two life from the Cosmo uh, Collector. The Cosmo's Elixir. The Cosmo Collector. He collected the Cosmos in the Elixir, therefore making it a Cosmo Collector. This is at the beginning of my life if I gained four. So I was one, I was, I was into Griffin Step, but not quite into Angel Step, mm. which is a damn shame. So that's gonna be me. I will copy Trading Post with Mirage Mirror mm -hmm. until end of turn. <laughs> just to have it briefly. Great. Yeah, good. Just the brief shining How moment where you get to have a trading post. Pretty good, huh? I'm, I'm having fun now. Nice. I will play a waste. The eight mana. I will use six of it to cast Oblivion Sower. Oh, what does this one do? It. The first Eldrazi of the day. It's a five. It's right. Finally casting an Eldrazi in the Eldrazi deck, right? It's a 5-8 that says, when you cast this, target opponent exiles the top four cards of their library, and then I may put any number of land cards that player owns from exile onto the battlefield under my control. Now, does anyone have any lands in exile already? No. No. No? I'm going to go after Wheeler's deck because I think it plays the Shire. Oh. So you got four? Four, yeah. You just exile the top four face up. Yep. Revive the Shire, fumigate, cultivate, and nope. command tower. We got hey, a command that's a good tower. one. These don't come in tapped, they just come into play. Sick. All right, so I still have three mana, which is about 25% as much as we cast another spell. Cool. Um, do I need to make another angel with Valkyrie Harbinger again? Do I have a better line? I could trading post and activate, oh my god. <laughs> Nelson, Nelson, you can't, you can't get trading post blindness now. I don't know, man. That's you're cool. focusing on Sacrifice the Sacrifice any creature to return any artifact from my graveyard to my hand. Yeah, you can get back your Phyrexian Triniform. I could sacrifice my Lightning Greaves to get back my Ornithopter of Paradise at the end of your turn next turn. Or I could make a 4-4 flyer and deal some damage to the opponent. I don't know. <laughs> This says each end step? Each end step. I'm good. Y your turn, Wheeler. Hey, I can block with it. I can block yeah, it. Yeah, you can. Of with it. End of turn. No. Oh. End of his second main phase? <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah, okay. You can do it there. <laughs> I'm going to pay one life and make a goat. Do we have those tokens with my picture on them? Oh, yeah. Uh, they are right here. I'm just going to pick a frog or something. There you yeah. go. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you, sorry. You wanted a step. goat. Yes. Huh. Yeah. Here. Hold on. Let me grab that for you. Thank you. Um, because I made a token, Rosie is going to put a counter on Sam. Untap. To be fair, that pig is adorable. It's a, it's a good pig. <laughs> hmm. We are too powerful, Wheeler. You cannot defeat us. One only speaks truth and the other speaks only lies. They're both just chirping at me. I want a seed bell. 
<laughs> I'm going to go to combat and make a food token. And Rosie is going to buff up Sam. Mm -hmm. Sam's getting thick. He's a little swole. Sam's yeah. yoked out. Yeah. yeah. He's a 7-5 now? Mm -hmm. Or a 5-7? Uh, yes, 5-7. Oh, biggest Bruna. He's my own little Bruna. How much mana does Sam cost? Three? Three okay. mana. Yeah. And I'm going to attack Ben with Frogurt. Uh, and I loot. Unblockable, eh? Well, he can be blocked by creatures with power equal to or less than him. So right now he's just a 2-4. Okay. You could technically... Uh, I could throw a griffin under? Under yeah. the Froger? Yeah. I could mix in the, 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 the griffin meat with can my Froger treat? That's all right. Can you double block with the griffins too? Is that allowed for skulls? Multiple creatures can block uh, as long as they yeah. don't have more power? Yeah. Okay. You can if you want. I do that. You're going to double block yeah. with your griffins. Yeah. Okay. I have an effect before damage. Okay. I'm going to pay one life. Yeah. And I'm going to make an additional goat. Uh, right. Which is going to cause Rosie to trigger. Yep. And I'm going to put a counter on my Froger. You're supposed to know this card. This is this is like your whole thing. This is the thing that you do. What can you I? You have one thing, Nelson. <laughs> <laughs> you have one personality trait, and it's <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> yeah, no, that's fair. Uh, hey. So it lives and uh, Griffin dies. Yeah. Yeah, you got it. I mean, he's got Acre Wellspring too. That's true. Don't. They're a pretty <clears throat> good combo. Don't both the Griffins die because of the ring? Oh yes, the ring trigger is going to cause you to sacrifice both your birds. <laughs> Look, I know what Trading Post does. I don't necessarily know what Rosie Cotton does. <laughs> That's fair. She's a new card. Yeah. But she's universes beyond. Yeah. Uh, second main. I'm going to play of herbs and stewed rabbit. <laughs> what? Uh, it's a saga. It says, uh, chapter one, put a 1-1 one, one counter on up to one target creature, create a food token. Chapter two, draw a card, create a food token. Chapter three, make a 1-1 one, one white halfling creature token for each food I control. Cool. So I am going to put a 1-1 one, one counter on Sam and make an additional food token, mm -hmm. which will cause Rosie to trigger, which will put another counter on Sam. And uh, go ahead. Okie dokie. I've never seen a Sam of this magnitude. Maximum Sam. Upkeep, I finally have hit the seven. Oh. It is Amiria time. That's my trading post right there. <laughs> I only have one creature in my bin. It's this uh, Angel of Vitality. Sweet. So that's fine. I, it's gonna enter the battlefield and I'm gonna gain two life. All right, now I will go and draw. Ooh, uh, well, you know, very timely. Everybody loves to see it. It's the turn 19 friggity whatever soul ring. Oh, oh. powerful. Never yeah. a bad time for a soul ring. He can't be stopped. I am now the arch enemy. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna tap a soul ring in a Seraph Sanctuary uh, to activate this war room going down a life. And I will draw that card. Ooh, can I do that? I cannot. All right, then don't worry about it. Everybody's cool. I wasn't worried at all. It's like nothing happened. Instead, because I don't know how much longer this game has, the other play is probably the better one, but. Ba, 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 ba. Ba, 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 ba. Ba, 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 ba. Ba, 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 ba. Ba, 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 ba. Tapping for four and playing Gisela. Thank you, Carl Orff. Yeah, they are a 4-3 flying first strike lifelink at the beginning of my end step. If I own both of these friendos, they meld. Sweet. Yes, that's all I wanted to do this Great. Game. And with Gisela hitting the battlefield, I get to draw a card. Nice. A go win to combat. I will swing like this. At Wheeler. Yes, I will swing for uh, 511 at you, buddy. Mm. Okay, I'll take five. Wait, you're 11? hitting me with this. With both. With yeah, both. For a total of 11. <laughs> so I, was like, <laughs> right. I was like, I hit you for 11. You're like, all right, I'll take five, which is 
Wheeler, the Star and Wars I'll, universe's and stuff I, hasn't come out yet. And if I take this, I just die. No. Oh. Commander J. Oh, yeah. Commander You're at 17. Oh, yeah. my gosh. Yeah. Oh. Ben, buddy. I'm... S- we are... We can still be friends, right? <laughs> Do you have a removal spell? I may have a removal spell that I've had in my open- since my opening hands. Um... <laughs> Now, you under I want you to live your dream. Yeah. But this is literally going to kill me. Yeah. It sure will. Yeah. But I'll I'm killing your commander so you can cast it next turn. Sick. <laughs> <laughs> Love it for me. I'm gonna cast Mortify. Okay. Targeting your Bruna. Uh yeah. Alright, she's dead. So you'll take five? I'll like take, you said you would? I'll take five. <laughs> Yeah. I'm the man of my word. Uh, and I will gain five. One, two, three, four, five. Any, any other set of circumstances, Six. I let you live that dream. Yeah, yeah. I that, let that mortify rot my I appreciate that hand. you thought about yeah. it, you acknowledged it, and then still gave me the middle finger. Yeah. And that's why we're friends. That is the Wheeler guarantee. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to gain six life because I get one extra from uh, the Angel of Vitality. And the card that I drew was a land which means that I can play this other six-drop angel. Oh, huh. Oh, good. That I drew. See, so what's the problem then? You could just... There is no problems. Not with Dawnbreak Reclaimer. <laughs> Whomst? <laughs> uh, many things are about to happen. Okay. Dawnbreak Reclaimer is going to enter the battlefield. I'm going to gain two life. All right? Mm-hmm. Now we're going to go to my end step. Okay. And I have... Mm-hmm. Uh, so many things. Uh-huh. <laughs> First off, we go to Griffin Step. Nice. Everybody's yeah. favorite. Everyone loves Griffin Step. Then we proceed to Angel Flying Vigilance Step. It's more powerful than Griffin Step, but it's not as cute. Yeah, yeah. It's, in, you know. Uh, then uh, we're going to proceed to Dawnbreak Reclaimer Step. What's that one? Uh, at the beginning of my end step, I choose a creature card in an opponent's graveyard. Then that player chooses a creature card in my graveyard, and I return one of those to the battlefield under their owner's control. Huh. Okay. I have nothing. <laughs> oh. Uh-huh. All I'm doing is causing problems. <laughs> oh. Nelson. Yeah. I get to choose something from your bin. Okay. I'm going to choose your Kozilek. So it goes back to the battlefield? You just get that Kozilek, buddy. Okay. I have a Kozilek now. Feasting Hobbit? You don't want some feet? No, that's oh. okay. Oh, I wouldn't get it. You would get it. Oh, okay. Then don't pick Feasting Hobbit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He Nelson does. gets a Kozilek for free. Exciting. <laughs> Why Thanks. Hey, bud. Yeah. Why do you like this? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe because somebody shattered my dreams less than five seconds ago. Everybody needs to get their dreams shattered once or twice. And from those pieces, I'm building Nelson's victory. Uh, there's one more end step. <laughs> the Cosmo Elixir oh, right. end step. Very last thing is Cosmos Elixir gaining me one, two, three life. And I gained the extra two from that angel as well. Cool. I got 29 life. I got a bunch of things. Giselle is hiding in the Griffin area for some reason, and Nelson has a Kozilek. So he's the problem, right? I love this new six drop. Your opponent gets a 12 12 menace. Yeah. It's a great card. At the end of the turn, I would like to make Mirage Mirror into a token or a copy of Trading Post, okay. and then I will pay a life and make a goat token. Ooh, and you got the good goats. Nice. I'll untap. He's got the ungoats. Mm. Not much. What's ungoats with you, dog? Exactly. <laughs> Wheeler, I still feel like you're about to kill both of us. Well, <laughs> no, but yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> I'll no, cast yeah. Steel Hellkite. All right. Ooh, one, two, three, Classic four, of the genre. Five, six. Steel Hellkite will receive the Lightning Greaves. I'm going to respond. Very good. I'm going to tap a white. And I'm going to attempt to Swords to Plowshares your Steel Hellkite. Mm. And another thing, too. <laughs> That's a good From my play. opening hand. Wow. So if I had replayed Bruno, were you going to do it again? No. No. I, <laughs> I I was chewed up enough about doing it once. <laughs> Lightning Greaves is still on Palladium Mirror, mm-hmm. and I will exile Steel Hellkite and gain five life. Do I need to block with this 12-12? You've got like a seven... I got a, a seven-nine nine yeah. and a two-two. And two zero ones. Wheeler, I'd like to attack you with a 12-12 Menace. 
Thank you for reminding me of my goats, Graham. You're welcome. I'll uh, throw my goats under your god. Both of your goats. You're just gonna you're just gonna block with them. Like you're not gonna get an artifact like back from your graveyard. Something to the slaughter. Mm. Oh. Yeah. Uh, some, like, something. Um, um, oh god. Newts. Uh, yeah. Mm. Like newts, newts to, to the, the slaughter. slaughter. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Why don't you have trample? Yeah. It's not big enough. They'd counterspell stuff instead. It's okay. Dude, the two-drop little baby dinosaur from Ixalan <laughs> has trample, and Kozilek can't get over things. It's because it's from 2019 or something. Oh, Not right. 2020. But that little baby dinosaur is belligerent. Mmm. Kozilek is just... Drunk off power. Great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all right. Just thinking about drawing cards and stuff. Doesn't mm. care about trample. Okay, back to you, Wheeler. End of turn. I'm going to gain six life and uh, make Ben lose six life. Okay. With my food. Whee! Draw for turn. Uh, go to Stewed Step. <laughs> I make a food. Uh, Rosie gets bigger. Or Rosie triggers. It's going to buff Sam and I draw a card. Oh! <clears throat> the gaffer. Good night. <laughs> Good night. I'm done. <laughs> yep. <laughs> So he gets to live his dreams? Woo! You know what? I'm just happy that my gift to you is working out so well. Oh, I'm gaffing all right. Mm -hmm. I love that one of your favorite magic cards of 2023 is just an old man with a gnarly vegetable that draws you cards. Oh, potato stew. It's the gaffer's delight. Mm -hmm. uh, Nelson. Hi. You've got a goat. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> You're coming for his goat? The man is unbeatable. I might come for the man's goat. Go to combat, and I make an additional food token, and then Rosie is going to trigger, and I am going to buff my Sam mm. for some reason, for Sam reason. I'm going to attack Ben with my Froger. Okay, there are a three something now? There are three five. Okay, I block with a griffin. Okay, yeah you do. You get to don't you get to do something, like loot or something or what? I do get to loot. That's that's important. I'm going to discard tireless provisioner. All right, caca. What? You get that now. I think <laughs> that's the rule. That's what Frodo does, right? He rides away on the eagle. That's yeah, the, that's the, the eagle's tempted by the ring. That's the fifth step of the ring, right? Yeah, yeah. You get a griffin. You yes. get a griffin. Get griffins. All right. Well, if I'm dying, I'm going to make each of you feel some kind of hurt. I'm going to pay one, tap, and sacrifice my own trading post to itself to draw a card. <laughs> I want to respond. You can't, dude. It's a cost. I mean, you can if you want. Oh, you're right. It's a cost. <laughs> I hurt myself. Today. Happy holidays, everybody. Draw a card. <laughs> <laughs> what did it do? It didn't deserve this. Nothing. It did nothing. Here's Bilbo. <laughs> <laughs> this is the worst Christmas ever. I hate this. <laughs> And I get to scry, because he's a halfling. Can we open some of our presents today? <laughs> I thought we did. If you would gain life, you gain that much plus one. Oh, hey, I got that too. That's cool. I'm going to pay one with this exotic orchard that adds white mana. Yep. I'm going to sack of food to gain four life and make you lose four life. 19. Oh, God, this... I don't think we can kill you, dude. I can't believe he just pass cycled the trading No, I like think I, uh, I... I think, think pass the okay. turn and draw for Gaffer Step. All right, untap. Upkeep, a Maria trigger. Huh? <laughs> There's nothing. Uh, go to draw. I will play a Plains. Uh, and then I will tap one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. <laughs> To play my commander again. <laughs> when I cast, I can bring somebody. No, there's nothing. I gain two life though as it enters, and I will draw a card. Hey, read Gaffer. Everybody wants to read Gaffer. <laughs> if you gain three or more life this turn, draw a card. Okay. Yeah. I will pay four to play Archangel of the Tithes. Ooh. It is Ooh. a three-five. With as long as they are untapped, creatures can't attack you or a planeswalker you control unless they pay one for each of the creatures. And if it is uh, attacking, creatures can't block unless their opponent pays one for each of those creatures. I'm going to gain two life and draw a card. Combat. I will swing, 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 swing. 
at Wheeler. How much? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Fair, to be honest. Five, 11, uh, 16, 21, 26. And none of it's in the air? <laughs> um, hold on, just let me check here. They're, they're all in the uh, air? They're, they're all in the air. Every single one is in the air. I'll take 26. Great. I'm going to my end step. I will have an effect before, if you pass priority. <laughs> yeah. Uh, black. Um, I guess I only need, yeah, black. Black. <laughs> I don't want to look. I'll just go with one black. It's going to be over soon, I'm sure. Uh, I'm going to sack a food token. Yeah. And gain four life. Okay. And make you lose four life. Yeah. Yeah. Ah! Oh, wow. Ah! Big card. Big magic card. <laughs> Damn. Look how big they are. They're a 910. With flying, first strike, vigilance, lifelink, opponents can't cast spells with mana value three or less. Now that is most of my deck. <laughs> yep. Yeah. <laughs> Great, there are other parts of my end step. I know. <laughs> I've got so much end step that stuff. That was Brizella step, which is uncommon. Uh, but you don't have to get to go to it. You got Griffin step, you got Angel step, you've got Brizella entering the battlefield. So it's only when you cast creature spells for a banner. Right. So. Does Seraph Sanctuary gain you life? I guess so, yeah, because it's mel Meld is, it exiles and comes back. So yeah, I have 31. That should have happened when it came in, but we're good now. Cool, and the Angel also? Yeah. Wow. All right. Is there anything else? Cosmos Elixir. <laughs> right? One, two, three. Hey, look, I'm almost back at 40. We thought this deck was bad. <laughs> I mean, objectively, it, it could use some improvement, I will say, mm -hmm. but it is doing the thing that I assume all battle cruisery creature types do, which is... We just gave you too much time, right? I guess, yeah, or, or I just have mana now and can do things. Right. Does does Daybreak Reclaimer do something as well, or is it just the turn it comes in? Uh, it is on this one as well. I gotta pick something. I have to pick something from mine and something from someone else. Is it must? Is it or is it up to? Do you have to do it? I I'm... absolutely do. <laughs> <laughs> I just played this to cause problems. Choose a creature card in an opponent's graveyard, then that player chooses a creature card in my graveyard, and I may return. You may return. Oh, okay. Oh. It is a may. Okay. All right. So I pick a Phyrexian Triniform. Okay. Yeah. And you want me to bring it back? Well, you got to pick something in my bit. Oh, I pick something in your bed. Yeah. I can't, because there's no creatures. Yeah. Is that right? I have to pick a creature? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I, so I pick nothing. Yeah, and then I may return them to the battlefield. Right. Go. Okay, so you're not <laughs> doing that? That's totally fine. I've got a gaffer step. You have a gaffer yeah. step. Does anyone see anything I can do with my Mirage Mirror that would help? I don't think so. I can't actually... You can, can copy Brazella. Yeah, I this can card copy Brazella. looks so cool in person, yeah. I just gotta say. It's amazing. It looks great. Yeah, all on top. I'm a big fan of big card. I like Meld so much. And I know people in the comments here are gonna be like, but Meld came back with like the in, uh, uh, Brothers War. Yeah. yeah. The only one that was like cool looking was Titania. I think she mm. looked kind of cool. Yeah. But this is this is peak Meld to me. That and the rat one. Oh yeah. <laughs> Graft rats, baby. Scavenger grounds. So you don't have any uh you don't have any sacrifice outlets on the board then, do you? No, I got nothing, dude. I'm all I'm all gaffed out. Can you get rid of this Brazella? Yeah, but I don't want to. No, I'm just kidding. I actually can't. Um, it's a little sad. She's here. She's queer. And she's making you feel the fear. Okay, let's go Flayer of Loyalties for four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten mana. Wait, what? It's a 10-10 Annihilator 2 Trample. And when I cast a spell, gain control of target creature until end of turn, untap that creature until end of turn, it has base power and toughness 10-10, and gaze trample, annihilator 2, and haste. So, like, I could steal Brazella, but I think I'd rather just steal Valkyrie Harbinger or Dawnbreak Reclaimer. Wait, what? I think I'd, steal, I'd take Valkyrie Harbinger so that I deal the 10 and get in for, um, and get in for 4-4 uh, four, four at the end of turn as well. I'll steal Valkyrie Harbinger mm -hmm. and attack Wheeler with it. So it's a 10 10. Yeah. Trample Annihilator 2 Haste. Okay. It's uh, probably got some way to gain it, get, get a food. No, I'm dead. I'm dead. Universe is beyond garbage products. 
<laughs> in universe best. All right. Oh, my hobbits. I get to keep this ring. <laughs> wow. All right, now. I'm gonna make a phone call real quick. It's down to the it's down to the haymaker decks. Fair enough. Okay, so I gain ten life. You sure do. And then at the beginning of my unstep, I'm gonna get a four four angel with vigilance. Is there a spare? Yeah, I'll take a four four angel with vigilance. Sure, you got it. Here okay, you go. Okay, great. And then you get this back. Thanks. Okay, good luck. Okay, well, so now the commander game starts. Mm -hmm. Of course. Um, I'm gonna untap on my upkeep. Uh, I got nothing to grab. I will go to draw step. Uh, I'm going to tap for three and activate the war room to draw a card and lose a life. Uh, great. Love this. Super good. You can deal 41 in the air, right? I can deal a lot in the air. Brazella is a 10 11. So we've got 10, 15, 20. 26, 31, 33, 30, oh yeah, I have enough in the air. The problem is not so much the flying as the fact that I can't pay any mana to Archangel of Tithes to block even. Oh the yeah! I do have a flying token for one of them, but- But you uh, literally cannot spend mana I don't mana have any block. mana, yeah. Okay, it's 41. Uh, yeah. Something like that. All right, happy holidays, everybody. <laughs> Good game. If we need, do we want, do yeah, we want give an it a exact count, number? Not? Okay, so the exact number that we have is five, uh, 15, 20, 25, 31, 33, uh, 37, 38, and uh, 43. Nice. 43 with the Angel Alpha, featuring Griffin and the speaker. <laughs> That's me, I'm dead. What a Christmas miracle! I got to Woo! flip over them and kill somebody with it. <laughs> God, this card is so cool looking. That was a lot of fun, everybody. There you go. Yeah. All right. Well played. Well, hey, thanks everybody for joining us on Elder Dragon Social Club. This was a blast. Mm -hmm. I, I, uh, I don't think that we've had a game go that long since knocking the first player out. Mm. I ate too many jelly beans. Oh, no. <laughs> I was gonna say, that pack is oh. looking empty, dude. We're fine. It's fine. I didn't know I was setting up the Kingmaker there. I just genuinely thought Wheeler had more tricks up his sleeve. I, I deserved it. At that point, I deserved it. <laughs> you know? That's what the holiday's about. It, I... it just felt like it, the hobbits kept having more breakfasts, no matter what happened. I've never really played Oops, Just Angels, and it's like, I guess I never looked at them as like big battle cruiser dudes. <laughs> Lobelia flipped the Titan's presence. Yeah, that Lobelia <laughs> stunk. It was real bad. Oh. <laughs> if you want to pick up any of these decks or any of the other 22 decks that were released in 2022, or just any cards for decks that you might be brewing, please head over to Card Kingdom. Check out cardkingdom.com slash EDSC. Let them know we sent you. They'll give you a little button that says funny things. Uh, also, you can get the sleeves we were using today over on store.loadingreadyrun.com. And of course, this show and everything we do is brought to you by you and your kind support of our Patreon at patreon.com slash loadingreadyrun, and we super appreciate it. Until next time, I have been Graham, joined by Wheeler. Thank you for ho-ho having me. It was great to gaffer, Ben. Somebody got into the eggnog, but uh, hark the herald angels sing. Happy holidays. Nelson, now dash away all. And Kathleen was here. Paul has been on tech. Heather gets these online mat edits them. Thank you all so much for joining us. And uh, hope you have a pleasant holidays. See you later.